Lesson three, minimizing human error. Hey, it's me, Hugh Edwards again. Welcome to the third video in this Minimizing Your Downtime Risk seven part course, Website Downtime. If you run your business online, anything that takes you down can be very costly. In this video, I'm discussing human error and how to minimize this risk to your website downtime. As part of our work here at Cyber Fortress, we frequently assess the digital landscape and look at what poses a risk to online businesses. Human error is one of those risks, where an error made by a human results in your downtime. This could be something someone on your team or yourself does that takes down your whole site or a vital piece of it. Or it could be a human error made by any number of your service providers, like Shopify or some third party contractor that's helping you with some kind of implementation. While we have little to no control over others, we can take measures to minimize our risk. What could you possibly be doing to cause this? Here are some of the things humans do that can lead to website downtime. One, coding errors. Even people who generally know what they're doing can make coding errors every now and then. If you're really unlucky, this might take out something important, like the means to operate the shopping cart or even the whole site. Two, accidental deletions. Someone might accidentally delete plugins, updates, users, or other components that are important to you. Three, forgetting to renew a contract. Depending on how your site is set up, you may have separate contracts for hosting or for the e-commerce platform that you use. Forgetting to renew any of those or say not provide an update for an expired credit card could get you shut down. Four, being lured in by a malicious link that releases a virus, malware, or ransomware or falling for a phishing scheme. Did you know that around 52% of people surveyed believe human factors to be the biggest cybersecurity threat? Five, letting unauthorized users access devices. A friend asks to borrow your phone or laptop while you're at home, and what do you usually say? However, allowing others to use devices that are for work use can lead to something going wrong. Six, similar to five, except where unauthorized users access devices that have been left unlocked. It may not even be malicious, for example, what if you're working from home and walk away from your screen only to have your toddler come by and mess with it? The key takeaway for all e-commerce owners is that as long as humans do work that affects your website, and as long as technology changes and new threats are added, you are at risk from human error. Honestly, avoiding human error altogether is impossible. It's unpredictable and often can come from something you haven't considered before. The best thing you can do is put steps in place to mitigate human error or minimize the impact if it does happen. Here are some important steps. One, always back up your website data. Some e-commerce platforms will do this as part of the inclusive service, but if backups aren't included, you should either be doing this yourself daily or paying for a third party service to do it. Backups mean that you can at least get back to yesterday's state, hopefully with minimal loss of data. Two, have policies in place for the security of devices. Everyone in your team should know to lock devices when not in use, for example. Three. Train staff on keeping data secure. For example, they should know how to create strong passwords and that those passwords shouldn't be written down or otherwise put at risk. Using a password manager such as LastPass or 1Password or Team Password can help for those who find it difficult to remember their password. Four, set calendar reminders for important renewals or preferably have them set to auto renew. Make a practice of updating credit card details as soon as a new one has arrived. And the thing with human error, is that you might think you have a really secure and really reliable website because you're using a really top-notch service provider. And that generally does mean that like the biggest risks are mitigated. But what, what doesn't capture there is this human error. They're innocent and just part of normal business of updating things or managing your site by humans that can cause that downtime, irrespective of using the best-in-class platforms out there. So overall, when it comes to protecting against human error, awareness is the key. You won't prevent all errors, but you can help people to be more mindful of the risks. And if human error has really got you thinking about, wow, I do have a real risk to downtime here, and it is gonna be hard to mitigate it completely. Have you thought about e-commerce insurance? You can actually get a free quote for our Cyber Fortress e-commerce insurance product. Um, it takes only a few minutes, and you might be shocked at how affordable your policy can actually be. Go check out our website at cyberfortress.com for your free quotes.